Howdy, Jacob here. Today we're looking at Encompass Health Corporation in the healthcare providers and services industry. Nine and a half billion market cap, just over 12 billion enterprise value, based out of Birmingham, Alabama, incorporated in 1984. Their growth in revenue is over double from 10 years ago, with just COVID being a down year. Outside of that, they've been growing like crazy. Their bottom line has not been growing as much. So their earnings per share is not even doubled, operating profit not even doubled, but they do have a gross margin almost 100%. Dividend is being paid less than what it was 10 years ago. I don't mind that. Return invested capital, 6 7%, probably a little bit lower in weight average cost of capital. So nothing crazy impressive there. Nothing going to R&D, just huge sales general and admin expense. Balance sheet has 69 million cash on hand, 25 million short term debt, 2.7 billion long term debt. It's a lot of debt. It is down though from 2015. It's the lowest it's been since I guess there's been a couple of years lower, but uh, that's a lot of debt. Let's see what it is in relation to free cash flow. It's about 10 years, their average free cash flow. So they're producing about 270 million here and they have. 2.7 2.7 million in long-term debt. So that's a huge concern of mine. That's going to require massive margin of safety, huge increases in capital expenditures, well over over three times, and their cash from operations has not even doubled. So that's a concern of mine, and I'm ready to make some assumptions here. I don't want to dig too far into this. So I do think this revenue growth thing is very cool. I like top line growth, but I prefer bottom line growth. I prefer for cash flow margin growth, prefer efficiency over extra top line. But with that said, with the money that they're investing a little bit in acquisitions and also just quite a bit organically, I think that they'll probably be able to grow 7% or so. I think that with a Mid return on invested capital, bottom line growth, okay. I probably am chill with a 14 P price to free cash flow. As for margins, I think I'm comfortable with maybe a six and a five. Just because again, their expansion on the bottom line has not been as great. And then repurchasing of shares, 1% is 95 million. They're not doing that. So let's say that's flat. Dividend is pretty inconsequential, 61 million compared to their free cash flow. So have they increased that? No, they have not. So let's keep that the same. So we're saying it needs to fall 73% before we get the return we're looking for here. Not the greatest company I've ever reviewed. I probably wouldn't be, you know, too eager to get in on this. I'd I'd have to get it at a really cheap price and it's definitely not there right now. Hopefully you enjoy the video. Have a great day.